This video is on uh, how to change your upload settings on YouTube so that every time you upload a video it will automatically be marked as say private or unlisted, education, um, tags, and so on. So what we're going to do is if we're on YouTube and you're signed in, you know you're signed in because your name's right here. YouTube's changed their layout a little bit. I'm not quite happy with it, but I can still always know that. I'll find most of my important stuff by clicking on your name. And we want to go to Video Manager. Over here to Channel Settings. Defaults. And here is your settings. My settings are public. Unlifted is what I do. I'll change things to unlifted if say I'm putting like a video of my son doing something awesome and I want to share it with grandma. So unlisted means if someone has the link they can view it but no one else will ever come across it. And then private means you can't even share it. Nobody can see it but you. Creative Commons attribution means that stuff I make as a teacher, other teachers can take that and edit it on their own. So a teacher can take my video, cut it up, and combine it with another teacher's video to make the lesson more personal for them. Say I go into too much detail on something and they want to cut that out, they can edit my video. So I like Creative Commons, so my stuff's that, but I always tell students to do the standard. Tags, what's some, mine's Coach V, maybe some tag that you make everything have the same tag and students can get to your channel that way. Although I, I mostly hyperlink so my students don't ever search YouTube for my stuff. And then here's your comments. You want comments? Yes or no. It's a pretty good feature. Approved is a problem. That means you have to approve every comment and you're going to get an email for every comment. So for classroom videos, if you want students having a conversation around them, you don't want approved. You just want to allow comments. Users can vote on comments means that a comment that students like goes to the top if it gets more votes. Uh, ratings, video responses, never really use it. Doesn't mean it's not useful. And then there's some edit suggestions. As you get more into detail, you can edit your own videos with some nice basic editing tools. So you set these and save. This is a good lesson to do with your students in the computer lab to make sure that all of their videos are, list are unlisted. My students share their links with me to turn in digital work, but I don't want anybody else finding it and I want myself covered. So making sure that everybody has this and they have to show me and it's worth the time to go from computer to computer to computer and save it yourself so that you can have them safely uploading to YouTube for the rest of the year. Alright, that's uh, changing your settings.